what is up my fellow billers and welcome back to anno 1800 to a brand new game game saved game <laughs> a sandbox save game and uh, yeah so this is the 12 12 12 seed and we are going to build a the ultimate sheep farm layout so it looks kind of like this and uh, yeah let's go ahead uh, we're also going to we're also going to get through the items the best items for the sheep farm and for the animal farms and stuff so yeah it's a uh, it's a fairly easy layout but uh, once you get like once you get started it's gonna be like easy but i uh i advise you to like have a, a good space for it so uh i don't think i've seen this layout before uh somewhere so this is <laughs> this is kind of my own layout all right let's go ahead and get started uh we're also going to use a trade uh, union uh that's the that's the goal actually to build this layout here so uh, we'll just uh whoops start off and uh, build and uh, this layout is going to be yeah, that's it. we're gonna use like silos basically so that's that uh i may have to like cheat and look on my uh, <laughs> old layout here uh yeah to actual to get the best results all right so we are starting off pretty well here so uh three sheep farms like this uh, i think there is like so many sheep farms here one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight on each side and once you get building to this side here we can just copy it to this side uh, the middle is fairly easy also uh, the tricky thing is the silos uh, we have to like adjust the space between to actually uh, so we can actually build the silos alrighty uh, let's go ahead and build it like this and another one alright I think I've cheated enough this one will be built like this you can also I think we have space for ornaments also so that's pretty nice go like this and another one here and the last one will be here Alrighty, so we are done. Oops. We're done with that. And uh, we are basically have... Uh, how many do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four... Oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's it. We basically have to place the uh, trade union so it reaches everything. I think that's it. Yeah. Alrighty. Now that we have built one side we are uh, pretty much done <laughs> all right i build this side over here just remember like you have to place some space for the silos so uh yeah just leave some space that's about it and uh totally forgot about these ones here oh yeah one here and one here I'm so dumb sometimes alrighty that space will be for the silos I will mark the spaces here for the silos with the dark road alrighty next one is wait I forgot about this one here this one will be here. No, 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 no. That can't be right. Actually, I can. That way we have 
space here for the road. Alrighty, next one is over here, and that's about the same thing. Space for the silos. There we go. Alright, next one is we have two left, which is gonna be over here. Uh, did I leave? Sp no, no, no. I was gonna say, like, did I leave uh, <laughs> space for the silos? Alrighty. There we go. And uh, that's about it for this uh, layout. Uh, it As you guys can see... Wait, did I make the... I made this, like, the wrong way. <laughs> As you guys can see, it reaches uh, everything inside, so... Uh, can just copy this one here. It reaches everything uh, inside the trade union. Yeah. And uh, we can actually fit more here in the future. Uh, yeah, I think we can fit more, actually. It's gonna look like this. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that right now, so... Yeah, we can actually fit f even four more. Yep. That was, uh, that was pretty nice. Uh, I don't think w this one is gonna work. Though, because... It needs some adjustments for the silos, so we'll just remove them. It's uh, it's just to give you guys an idea uh, of what you can do. Alrighty, so for the silos, I think uh, we have to build this one here. One over here. And one over here. For these ones... One over here, and one over here. And it's about the same over here also. So uh, we'll do one over here, and one over here. And where did I put that one? Over here. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's basically uh, the same on this side also. Uh, on this here, it doesn't matter if you can if you build it here or over here. And as we can see, it reaches everything. Alrighty, let's uh, go through the uh, the items for the trade union, and uh, we'll see which is uh, what's the best items. There are items for. Uh, For animal farms and productivity, like for example the live stock farmer, I think. Obviously we don't have it yet. Uh, this one is 30% productivity and uh, 60 minus workforce. So this is the first one that you can use. I think there is four. Uh, second one is the printing press. Which is this one. This one comes with the Anarchist uh, DLC. Uh, the Feed Yard. I think there is a couple. Yeah, the Fine Feed Yard. But I think the fab Fabulous Feed Yard is better. Wait, how is this uh, better? All right, there we go. There is the uh, yeah. This one is obviously better because this has like twenty percent, uh, and this one has thirty thirty five percent maintenance cost. 
Alrighty, next one is the uh, the last one actually is a, a legendary item and it's the mark than their mark the breeder of shepherd dogs alrighty so uh, this will give you an extra model I don't think you need to build that one and it will also give you a uh, give you alpaca wall and 100% productivity so yeah these items are the available i think there are more items actually if we search on animal farms no that was, that was uh, these are the best items so the mark van der mark the fabulous feed yard and what is this one? Oh, this one is actually not that good the livestock farmer and the printing press which is not here <laughs> alrighty so yeah uh, that's it for this one guys if you have any questions make sure to uh, comment the questions so I can answer and um, if you like the video please subscribe and like and I'll see you next time bye